Hello everybody, Frankie Day here on YouTube. Okay guys, uh, this is video update number three for Love of Freddy group build hosted by R. Martin of the International Scale Modeler. And uh, this is my number three uh, review update build report for on this thing. Uh, take nothing less video, I got the aircraft completely assembled in its entirety. Uh, the wings do come off and the brothers come off on this. Uh, to facilitate uh, the the painting schedule a lot more easier than having the whole aircraft uh, in its entirety. Like I say, all models they they they, uh, they they paint different and go together different. So I go ahead and like to, to, to go ahead and uh, take off the uh, wings that way, get it really easy. And was another feature too about this kit I just now came to mind as I'm talking about it as of now is that for an airplane this size, which is it's a little over we expanded a little over 25 inches. The wings can come apart because they got that tongue and groove that goes right through the fuselage, and the wing roots to on the fuselage are recessed so that the wings actually plug in. That gets it, it's it, it locks in. That's kind of that's that's kind of like a bonus uh, feature in the kit that no one ever realized until now. Uh, at least at least on my part that is. But uh, if you got problems trying to store this kit like this, you know, you can just take the wings off and especially going to model shows or put it somewhere where you want to get broken. And uh, so it makes uh, handling a lot more easier in storage space. Okay, getting back to the Liberator. Uh, taking it off from the last video, I've got the wings all together and the fuselage was all assembled together. I did my traditional sanding here and there and make sure that all the seams are are about as close as you get them to perfection and fill them a little bit with uh with my um feller choice which is bondo and uh let it dry went ahead and wet sand it get a coat of primer paint saw a couple another infection here or two refilled it again resanded shot another coat of primer on it it's excellent okay uh right now enough chatter we'll go over to take a look at the liberator how much i got done on it and uh and we'll discuss more what i'll be doing to it after this uh little fast feeling yeah the canvas friendly which i'm pretty certain that it is we'll swing over and uh, take a look at the mighty liberator there she is boys that's the b24d liberator the Polesti Raider. And like I say, folks, these stabilizers, these rudders come off and the wings unplugged. And uh, that makes painting up more easier, too, especially when you get inside the nest. Now, this is a big airplane, guys. This thing's a lot more bigger than a, a B 17. And it can carry a lot more of, of a heavier bomb load than a B 17. Again, there was rivalry between the air crews of the, of the B 24 crews and B 17 crews. Both aircraft are a very good aircraft for their day. But somehow the V-17 was meant to take damage and come, keep coming back. And Liberator can, can take some, a substantial amount of damage. But overdue damage like that of the Flying Fortress, it cannot take. And plus the most vulnerable spot of the B-24, it, it's its Davis wing design. And uh, it's going pretty together, cut well. I, don't, I, I think I made about seven, eight of these things I built in my lifetime. Since it's released back in 1976, I believe it's the fall of 1976. I think back then I think it retailed ten dollars. That's much the kit cost. And for your ten dollars, you got a lot of plastic. And uh, as you can tell, we uh, this thing is very equally balanced somehow. It's sitting on top of the, uh, the bottom of the fuselage on my turntable here, and. Um, one thing about B-24, whatever comes in for a, for a good belly landing, it, uh, you don't have to worry about doing any prop damage. These things really uh, land quite well and evenly. Okay, guys, uh, as you can see, got the, all the gray primer done on it. Everything's masked off. Make quite certain I'll get into overspray uh, tomorrow, if the good is willing. And the humidity comes down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start on the color schedule on this. Which is going to be desert pink, and it's going to be azure blue on the bottom. And uh, for the aircraft, it's going to be uh, Dirk's natural, and uh, I'll probably add the tractor to it. 
make a bomb cart and have the bombs on there. Other than that, this thing goes together quite well, guys. It's uh, for an old kit, it still goes together. I didn't have very much problems at all filling in between the nacelles and everything. So, this thing looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And so, tomorrow, like I say, uh, I got a trap on my compressor. I don't have to worry about what's spitting condensation you know, through there. But somehow, humid, humid days, I don't like to paint them. I have I have central air conditioning in my house, which really helps a heck, heck of a lot. So I think I'll, tomorrow I'll go ahead and start on the color schedule. Before I do that, I got to do some pre shading on it, and I got to paint the deicer boots all black right through here, all the deicers. And um, once the deicer has been all completely uh, painted and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and um, mask off the deicers itself. The leading edges of the twin rudders, the wings, stabilizer, and let's go ahead and do some pre and uh, go up and finish up with the desert pink and the azure blue and uh, undercarriage and a few sundry parts, and she's uh, done. So, the way it's looking now, if I follow up the schedule, I should have had this big bird done probably uh, tomorrow morning. I'll say by Wednesday. Either Wednesday or Thursday will be done. And if I get it done by Wednesday, I go ahead and make a video on that. If not, I go ahead and make a video of it on Friday. So that will be the next video coming up on the Mighty uh, B24 Liberator for the Love of Freddy's Group build. And uh, last night I had a very beautiful night with Mr. Gilbert of uh, the uh, Red Drag Dragon Works. And um, we had to hang out and had a good time. And uh, I've never had a, a good fun bag of beans in my life. It was great. We had some new modelers in there and talking about their models. And we just had a wonderful time last night. It was, it was about the best way you could spend a Saturday night. Okay, guys. This is uh, on the next um, our next video. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll post uh, the pre-shading on it. The next video after that will probably be the uh, the, the final reveal. And um, she's going together, like I say, she's almost done. Just a few parts here and there, she's completed, but I like that for that primer to dry real well before I uh, go any further. So anyway, folks, uh, she's uh, near completed, as you can see. And this uh, completes video number three for the Love of Freddy group build featuring my Revell Monogram B24D Liberator in 148 scale. And we'll take this camera swing over to yours truly right here and we'll finish up the video and uh, that'll be that. Okay guys, uh, so like I said, I'm going to let the, the Liberator dry for uh, overnight and tomorrow I'll start with the pre-shading. And uh, after that, I'll make a video of that and just go ahead and uh, finish up on the color schedule. Desert pink, azure blue. Anyway, guys, uh, it was kind of fun building this kit. And I, I'm very grateful for Freddie giving me this B24 Liberator. And the least I can do, you know, which is a very, very good cause and a very, very good group build. Uh, sh showing our appreciation and gratitude, you know. Uh for the givings from the heart of Freddy. And uh, so anyway, um, at this video, I'm going to sit here and ponder for a while, see what I'm going to get started and what i got to finish up on. Lord knows i got a lot to finish up on. I'm starting to fall in the worst clutches of the world. Modeler syndrome. And I think i got a touch of it right now going on. And uh, i got that uh, vacuform uh, C124 Glowmaster barking at me and I got my Arizona barking at me over there and every one of them hot me to get that Denmark started so the only way to get stuff started and finished up is just go ahead and start finishing up and make videos and uh, something else will arise okay guys uh, so stay tuned for the next video which will be the pre-shading of the B24 Liberator and uh, that will be video number four and I believe on the fifth video will be the final reveal. And who knows, I might just go ahead and order, uh, build another one for Freddy. And 
I think he gave me a B25 up there, which is in the box top of this B24. All the parts are accounted for, decals, everything. It's just a kit with no box. And so I just may go ahead and start that one, get that one going, drop the flaps on it and everything, and make it natural aluminum. I think I'll go ahead and, and use uh, kitchen foil on that. That'll bring that out real good. Okay, guys, that's, uh, that'll be it for tonight for me. It'll be the end of the night for the Liberator. And I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And God bless every one of you guys out there. And uh, my wife is doing fine. She's really good. I, and uh, she's back up to snuff now, running all eight cylinders. And I'd like to thank heaven and, and God above and you great fellows for your your warm, warm uh, candor. And uh, it makes me uh, feel really good and warm inside. And I, uh, I appreciate it very much, fellas. And um, so I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to think about what I'm going to get going on, to get started up on, and uh, watch some of you guys' videos tonight and do some commenting. i got to catch up my comments, too, you know, that, that you guys uh, out there have uh, commented on. I haven't got back yet, but too darn busy. So now it's time to get back and catch up on my, uh, on my work. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off right here. I'd like to thank everybody again one more time again for tuning in. And may God bless and make Molly happy. And please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on in the next video, gentlemen. So you guys have a wonderful Sunday and enjoy yourselves. And uh, happy modeling. We'll see you, man. This is Frankie Day signing off. Stay tuned for the next one. Uh -huh.